everyone thank you for watching our web channel and today we are going to do another pick a card reading and the reading is what's going to happen what's my energy what are some messages that's meant for me and what are some maybe things i need to watch out for okay in the next seven to ten days so we have four piles one two three four and um these cards these two cards the oracle cards or oracle tarot cards um are the general uh general energy for the next seven ten days seven to ten days and then i'll be using the kipper deck for specific areas of um in regards to love finance um and work or school depending on your situation okay um timestamps are in the de description box below and i will start with pile number one if you need more time please pause the video all right i will start all right so for pile number one you got the seeker thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are all right so um in the next seven to ten days i think for pile number one people you will be um there be things that will pique your interest okay um or there are some things that you will want to find out more about whether it's in regards to your love situation your work situation school or finance maybe you'll want to find out more how to deal with money how to invest okay um, maybe at work you're trying to find out how to you know um, learn something to um, help with uh, your work project or like a specific skill you're trying to perfect um, in school obviously you're always learning right um, and then in love maybe there's something that's gonna happen that's you want to find out the truth about something or you want to find out more about your partner if you're single then maybe you want to find out more about love or maybe find out more about yourself right the truth of, of yourself and just the wisdom of things okay you want you're gonna be really curious you're gonna be thirsty for um, knowledge okay um and I, I i feel like maybe you won't want to procrastinate you're actually gonna like study you just have it's 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 a great energy for the next seven to ten days if you don't have this um passion okay to want to learn about something well your energy for the next seven to ten days is very um it works in harmony with um learning so you'll be able to actually um soak in all of the knowledge and wisdom that you'll get oh you'll be getting if you do like um study okay so use it use these seven to ten days energy to help you gain more knowledge and things whatever you want to learn maybe you'll you'll like find a passion or something like um because you started learning about something like maybe just like very little things that you've always wanted to do but you haven't um maybe start small and then and then you'll realize like oh my gosh this is really interesting i really want to know more about this okay so like this secret energy this thing like you're trying to find out truth about something okay and then the tarot card we got the temptation in reverse this is the devil um card okay and this deck is called temptation um i think and it, it's in reverse so that's good i think um you'll you'll probably overcome some bad habits maybe some um addiction i mean it could work both ways okay so for some of you i think you'll overcome um some overcome temptations okay overcome procrastination overcome addictions okay you're gonna replace it with something better there's some of you that you want to watch out okay maybe having this reverse meaning you're you're getting more addicted to something more tempted like you you're, you're trying to tell yourself no but the fact that you're trying to tell it's like the it's really weird human psychology when you tell yourself not to do something you want to do it more it's really weird so it could be that like you're trying to tell yourself like not to do something or somebody else is telling you not to do something and now you wanted to do it more okay so instead of so you gotta fight against that temptation but i think instead of fighting against it 
the best way is like what I said, you want to replace it with something else. Okay. With replace it with a better um, habit or better thing that you should be addicted to. Okay. For example, um, I was really ex uh, addicted to, you know, playing Candy Crush. Um, this is like a while ago. And instead of every time I want to pick up my phone, instead of picking up my phone, I would actually consciously tell myself, no, no. And, and I replaced it with reading a book. Cause I was like, you know, I haven't, re haven't read a book for like a really long time. So instead of, you know, reading or playing my video games, I will read a book. So I have the book right next to the phone. And every time I pick up the phone, instead of the book, I will consciously tell myself, put the phone down and pick up the book and, and you do it. And to, um, to make something into a habit, you have to do it continuously for at least 21 to 30 days. Okay. Um, so if you could do that, I think you'll probably most likely successfully replace your bad habit with a good one. Okay. So, I mean, this is only seven to 10 days. So if you're trying to replace your bad habit, you want to extend this, um, replacement time a little longer okay not like after 10 days or like that's done <laughs> but yeah but i think the next seven to ten days you'll maybe there you'll you'll realize like okay i want to seek the truth about something and i want to overcome my temptation about something or my addiction to something okay all right so let's take a look at um in the areas of let's do finance first Okay, in the area of finance, what's going to happen in the next seven to 10 days for pile number one? All right, you have great happiness. So I think in the next seven to 10 days, um, in the area of finance, okay, in the area of money, you're gonna get great happiness. Look at this, they're celebrating. They're celebrating something. So I think um, you might be getting maybe, I don't know, there's a message maybe like, Something small could be something like getting a lot of lottery ticket, like one win something could be something kind of small, just 10, 20 bucks, but it's still worth, you know, celebrating, right? Happiness, but it's great happiness. So it might be a little bit more, you know, 20, 30 bucks better than what they usually give like a dollar or something. Right. But it could also be, um, maybe something that you invested before you're finally getting something back. Okay, and it's a great lump sum of money or something that you maybe you thought that you lost, maybe you lent money to people and now they're giving it back to you, okay, in the next seven to 10 days or just like, I don't know, picking up money on the ground, like, yeah. Yeah, so something, um, like a great happiness and you're in the area of finance. You're gonna feel really happy. I don't feel like there will be a major expense coming, okay, in the next seven to 10 days. In fact, I think you're gonna gain something, okay, in the area of finance. All right, so let's take a look at your work area. Oh my gosh, work area, oh no. In the next seven to 10 days, we got theft. Okay, so watch out um, in the area of work or maybe school. There's some somebody who's trying to get away with things, okay? Somebody may be trying to steal your idea about something. Maybe they're trying to steal your creativity. Maybe um, somebody, if you're in school, maybe they're trying to steal your work, okay? Um, your thoughts about like a project. Um, they're trying to copy you, okay? So like... Um, just be careful of this, like, um, this is almost like that seven of swords energy theft, right? Um, you know, and uh, I think for a very, very, very small percentage of you, this theft could also mean like stealing your heart. Okay. So there, there might be somebody at work. Okay. That you feel very drawn to and they stole your heart okay so it, it could be that but um but it, but still like the theft is it's actually not that good of a this is not a very good card this is a, it's actually a negative card in the kipper deck so even if somebody's trying to steal your heart you want to be careful that person might be married or maybe they have they're in a, a relationship already so like 
Um, so there, they, it might be a player or some sort. Okay, so it could be a girl or a guy. Nowadays, anybody could be a player, right? So um, just watch out for them trying to hide something from you. Um, okay, or or you know, I even get like the message of um, nowadays. There's you know, everybody's in need of money and stuff. So it, it could. It's, it, I mean, this is for work, but who knows? It could be related to your work, like somebody call it like those um, scammers. OK, watch out for the scammers like phone scams or email scams or something like that. They might disguise them as like a work thing. So especially if you're a freelancer, OK, um, you want to watch out for people like tricking you into um, giving them like money or something like that. OK, so you might lose money because of like some scammers or something like that okay um if not it could be theft of like ideas copyright like plagiarism or something like that okay so just watch out for this energy at work now um or somebody's you know trying to hide some kind of a news or just somebody's being very secretive okay not being very truthful so maybe this is why you're seeking um truth and wisdom about something okay you're maybe this is this is reflecting this okay you're trying to find out more about like this person or a pro particular project or particular situation okay all right so let's take a look at the area of love in the next seven to ten days for pile number one What's going to happen in the area of love for in the next seven to ten days? In the next seven to ten days, what's going to happen to pile number one in the next seven to ten? Ooh, all right. This one flipped out, so we'll take this one. It says you'll receive a gift. Okay, so in the next seven to ten days, I think somebody is going to surprise you with something, okay? They're going to give you a present, a gift of some sort um look at this is like a christmas christmas tree with things underneath it right with the gifts underneath it so it's it might be a gift that you've been wanting for a very long time and now they're finally giving it to you okay so so with people like maybe in a in a stable commitment if you're trying to move your uh, relationship forward or you want to get a proposal uh, from your partner, you might be getting that. Okay, it's something that you've been craving, you've been wanting for a long time, and you're getting it. Okay, I don't feel like this. It's it's a surprise, but it's it's like it's a surprise because you didn't expect them giving it to you. But it, the gift that they're giving you is something that you've been wanting. Okay, you've been wanting for a very long time, and now it's fulfilled. And um, so, for people who are single, I feel like um if you really want to get out of singleness okay so um you might have a chance of meeting someone and you'll feel like that person is like a gift to you okay gift from heaven gift from god or gift from whatever your religion is okay um but but again this is something that you've been wanting for a long time and you'll be finally getting it fulfilled like this is something that you manifested i i, I feel okay so if if um people who are single and you do you don't really want to get out of your singleness okay that bad okay you always put work before um relationship then um work is more of your priority then that's something that you might be fulfilling instead of getting somebody okay instead of getting into a relationship um so then this gift might be more like this work work related somehow okay so maybe like somebody who's gonna help you um with work or something like that okay even though it's in the area of love or maybe the the love is more like family okay or like friendship but not necessarily relationship okay um for people who are uh, in uh in no communication with somebody okay so if you have somebody in mind right now and that person is somebody you wanted to get back with okay it says receiving a gift so you might be getting what you wanted so if you want to recommunicate with them you might be getting a text you might be getting a phone call okay um 
because that's what you want. You want communication. You want to talk to them, right? But if you want to get back with them, um, we got to start small. It's a little gift. Okay, so we'll start with communication. Getting back together, I think um, there's some truth you still need to seek, okay? This is just the seven to 10 days. There's still, you're trying to find out exactly. You're trying to find out more. Remember at the very beginning, that I said you're trying to find out more about somebody. You're trying to find out what they're, um, what what the, what they're really about. Okay, and the wisdom. And you got also like resist temptation. They you really 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 want this person, but you gotta resist some temptation. You gotta first figure out what this person really want instead of jumping back right back without thinking too much. Okay, because you might get hurt. Right. So that's what I see for pile number one. And let me know how this resonates with you. And um, don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to my channel and my video. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So for pile number two, we got... Metis, Mr. Okay. Um, this one, it says entrepreneurial or creative ability to turn anything to gold delight in sharing life's riches. Midas is somebody with like a golden finger and everything he touches, um, it turns into gold. Okay. So, um, in the next seven to 10 days, Pile, uh, pile number twos of vibs okay you guys will turn anything that you touch into gold so don't doubt don't doubt yourself okay i have a feeling like oh some of the pile number two people you doubt yourself a lot okay and um you have great ideas you have amazing ideas but sometimes you just let it sit there and you don't really do anything about it but in the next seven to ten days you should make all these creative ideas into something okay um because and and you should share it because over here it says the light in sharing life's riches so I think anything that you have that you want to share, any cr crazy ideas, even you may think it's the craziest idea, but it's probably a really good idea. Somebody else might be able to make it into something too. Like your idea is golden. Okay. Your idea is golden. But if you don't know how to make it, I think share it with someone. You never know. You might find a partner that's going to help you and turn it into crazy okay rich crazy riches okay that says life's riches so and i think you have the ability to um start your own business too okay so if there's something that you've been thinking about doing and you're too scared to do in the next seven to ten days start sharing your idea you might find somebody who is going to help you okay they might not want to partner up but they'll give you a lot of advice okay they may give you a lot of advice to help you start off okay um this business that you wanted to do and nowadays i think some of the business you don't even need a lot of money to do you can just start off with like an online shop right and just a few hundred dollars you might be able to have a little bit of inventory if your if your idea calls for an inventory right sometimes it's just selling an idea and you don't even need an inventory right could be like a you know a youtube channel or something like this right <laughs> all right so if you have anything that you really really wanted to do especially anything creative start doing it if um and I, it's just like another some some of the things that you don't even need somebody to help you like writers you know creative stuff writers drawers painters sculptors whatever it is actors well actors you kind of need somebody to you need a crew designers okay um have something ready so then you could present it to people okay 
in the next seven to 10 days, you're going to have a lot of epiphany, a lot of ideas, a lot of creative juice um, to start something. Okay. You should take advantage of it. All right. See what you got for the tarot cards. Oh my gosh. New beginnings. New beginnings. Really, I this is the fool card in the waiter deck. Okay. So, <laughs> What did I just say? It's entrepreneur. So you're going to start things from ground zero. You're going to start things from nothing. Okay. So really like begin, begin something. You have really good ideas. Start, start, take one tiny step or even just start with sharing it. You never know what's going to happen. Okay. You don't know what's going to happen. So in the next seven to 10 days is a great time to begin something, begin something that you've always wanted to do, especially if it's related to any creative ideas, okay? Or businesses that you've been wanting to do, okay? You're, you might even find someone who wants to help, who, want, who wants to help, help you, okay? So let's take a look at, um, in the area of work, um, money and love we'll we'll start with finance okay start with finance and in the next seven to ten days for pile number two what's gonna happen in the next seven to ten days or this one flew out oh that's a lot of cards okay in the next seven to ten days what's gonna happen in the next seven to ten days okay Oh my goodness. Okay. I know you guys are like, oh my goodness. But I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is um, bereavement, okay? It's the coffin card. Um, I know you're like, no. Okay, so to me, this card represents putting something to an end and then new beginning, okay? There's something got to you got to put something to an end and then you got to start with something new. So in your finance area, in the next seven to 10 days in your, um, like finance, okay. In regards to money, there are some things that you need to end it. Okay. Whether you like it or not, maybe there's an investment. You got to stop. You got to take the money out now. Okay. Maybe because you need to do this, the entrepreneur stuff. Okay. So things that you've been um, maybe investing in, you got to put a stop to it. Um, if you, if somebody's asking you to borrow money, this is like, no. Okay. The ending card that's like, put it put an end to it. Okay. No, have a boundary. This is coffin is also about rigidness. Okay. So like, don't, don't be too flexible with your money. If, especially if somebody's who is trying to, um, you know, borrow money from you or something like that. Okay. Um, have a really good plan of what you wanted to do with, um, your money. Um, this is like a funeral. And if you think about a funeral, it's a lot of planning, a lot of work. Okay. So I feel like in your finance area too, this is, this is also about, you know, putting an end to something and then start investing something new, start something that you've, you probably never thought of. Okay. Um, and you maybe might be even a little bit scared to do, cause we do have the new beginning card, the full card. This is about, um, taking a risk. Okay. It's about exploring different options. And this is entrepreneurs are like that too. They're risk takers. They do things that other people are afraid to do. They might fail, but failure is, um, the mother of success that's there's a saying in chinese is you know failure is the mother of success so um don't be scared okay um i think in your in the area of um finance there's an ending of some sort and you got to start making a new investment or making new choices in regards to your money okay so now um I feel like expense wise, because it is a funeral card, funeral usually does cost a lot of money. So you want to watch out with large expenses. Okay. Um, it might be expected. It might be unexpected. Just watch out for that energy. 
Um, large expenses could also be related to because you want to start a new business too. Um, you know, so and this is an ending in the beginning. Okay. So if the expense is in regards to building a business, I think it's a good thing. Okay. Because it means it's a new beginning. But if it's anything else, I think you should have boundaries. You should have be more rigid. Okay. Less, less flexible about how you spend your money even f f with um spending money on yourself meaning like buying things that you don't really need okay all right so let's take a look at the your area of work what's going to happen in the next seven to ten days in regards to work gonna happen to call number two and then I'll seven to ten. Oh, okay okay in the next seven to ten oh sorry in the next seven to ten days what's gonna happen at work we got the short illness card um okay so <laughs> all right um wow there's a lot of things going on for you for pile number two there's like a new beginning um this is short illness in regards to work or school, you want to watch out for, um, you might guess, I don't want to like give you like bad omen because you're not sick. And I'm saying like, you're going to be sick in the next seven to 10 days. That's like kind of bad. Um, but there is, it says the card says short illness. Okay. So, um, maybe watch out for, um, catching a cold or a flu i know it's like kind of impossible if you watch this video as i upload it because it's the summer but um but there's that possibility of like extreme weather okay because um i don't know where you are at right now but like cali california is where i'm at and the weather is kind of crazy and you might also spend a lot of time indoor okay and um and so you're like and then you go outside, it's super hot. And then you're coming back in, it's super cold. So like the extreme changes in temperature that you might also catch a cold. If you watch this video while we're still in COVID, you wanna make sure that you protect yourself very, very well. This is more like a warning, I feel like, okay? So don't don't get scared. Like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna catch COVID. No, no, no. Um, but it's like, watch out, okay? Protect yourself. If you're um, the kind that's like, no, I, I don't, I don't wear any protections, please wear them, okay? It's for your own sake. It's all, also for other people's uh, sake as well, you know? Um, and also wash your hands whenever you go, right? And um, what else? Okay, so besides that, okay, this short illness could also indicate that we are having this new beginning. We're trying to get this um, business or this new thing that you thought of um, off the ground, right? So watch out for um, overworking yourself, overworking yourself and not getting enough rest, okay? So you might not get enough sleep, okay? I feel like you might not get, be getting enough sleep. You might be overworking yourself. You might get tired, okay? You don't sleep enough when you, that will, you know, if you don't, if you work, overwork yourself um your immune system also goes down so you would catch whatever more easily right so make sure you get enough rest okay don't overwork yourself um if you're not trying to find um if you're just working at a regular job but maybe you're trying to find do a side business this could be a side business you don't have to quit your job right now you know um this could be a side business and so that means you're trying to work two jobs right and if that is the case just watch out for overworking yourself too much okay get enough rest um drink enough water right um protect yourself okay uh i think besides that i don't think um there's any major thing going on at work i just feel like um you're probably overworked or st very very stressed okay very stressed out about things maybe stressed out about money stressed out about this new beginning stressed about um starting something new right 
they're all related maybe this money situation is stressing you out as well and you don't you can't sleep and it's affecting you your your performance at work as well okay so just watch out for um uh, this type of energy and get enough rest all right so let's take a look at your um love life in the next seven to ten days Let's take a look at your love life in the next seven to ten days. That's file number two is love life in the next seven to ten days. Oh, we've got two cards. We'll take them. All right. So in your love life, we got gloomy thoughts and high honors. Wow, this is like two opposite um energy. Okay. So some of you, uh, you have really bad, gloomy thoughts. Look at this. This person is at a um, at a cliff. Okay, they're thinking about jumping off. I mean, this kind of reflects this. Um, the if it's a waiter, rider weight deck. Okay, the fool is at an edge too, like trying to make his move. But in this keeper deck, this one is about depression. It's it's about having suicidal thoughts. Okay, that's bad. Um, so i think maybe for pile number two things haven't been going really well for you in love okay there's maybe people are taking advantage of you um making taking advantage of you not giving you the recognition that you deserve okay and um or you're just um thinking that you're not good enough or you know some bad things happening to you okay so in the next seven to ten days you might you know i i you might be in this like having this these dark thoughts okay i feel like if you have these darker thoughts you probably have been having it okay you have been having these bad thoughts for a while already um in regards to love okay uh I feel this is for you. You want to um, try this new beginning, okay? It's really hard. It's I know it's easy for me to say, oh, no, you're going to, um, you know, get out of this depression and you're going to be fine. But um, really, like, try to think of something that you want to work, like, put your focus on something else. Maybe... Um, if you're ha having so much problem with love at the moment and there's nothing that there's nothing that you can do, maybe shift your focus to something else that make you feel good about yourself. OK. Um, but I think for some of you, maybe this is why this other card is coming out. So if you've been in a very long depression um, for pile number two in regards to love um, for a lot of. I think for most of the pile number two people in love, whether you're single or in a relationship, maybe things haven't been going really well for you, okay? Things are just kind of, uh, especially if the people that are in no communication with with the, per the person in their mind, okay? That maybe they wanna get back with or something like that. Um, you're having like a lot of these dark, gloomy thoughts, okay? Um, we got this other card, the high honors card. I think you'll be recognized, okay, in this next seven to 10 days. People will realize your worth. They will value you. This is, look, they're knighting. This king is knighting this person. People are gonna be, realize, okay, you, how, your, your value and your worth, okay? You're gonna be seen. You're gonna have this spotlight on you, okay? So keep being optimistic. I know it's easier said than done, but if you can, um, you know, you don't even need other people's validation. Okay. I know this one is more like having other people's validation. And I feel like maybe Paul number two, you're having all these gloomy, dark thoughts because you're trying to seek validations from outside of yourself. Okay from outside of yourself but no you this recognition could be you you recognizing that you are worth you deserve love you are worth 
um, worthy of everything. You're lovable, okay? That you need to recognize that you deserve all of these good things happening to you, okay? And I think once you recognize that you deserve all these good things, okay, and slowly gaining back your confidence, you can have this new beginning. And I actually, I do really feel like um, there's, there's, um, recently I've, I've, I read somewhere, okay, that sometimes maybe this group over here in particular, I think if you do really well in work, in your work area, in your work life, maybe even um, financially, okay, if you're doing well, you're gonna feel a lot better you're gonna feel more confident in love and this is actually they're helping each other when you feel confidence in work you will also feel more confident in um in your love life as well and that it's it's like that confidence carries over okay it carries through um so you will feel better about yourself okay so that's why I was saying earlier that you maybe you want to shift your focus to um, working. Find something that um, that you keep yourself busy doing something. And I think maybe having this gloomy, dark thoughts, it's a great energy to put it into something creative. OK, I, I always feel like when I'm really sad, I have like my creative juice is like overflowing, like instead of drowning in my in this negative energy i'm shifting it into making like um a masterpiece okay i don't want to say my my stuff is great okay but um <laughs> but it, it it is very i feel like sometimes when i'm too happy like everything is kind of shallow but when you have this is why like a lot of artists they love um you know falling in love and then falling out of love like keep going back in circle like this because whenever they fall out of love that pain they they would put it into this creative thing of course i want everybody to feel happy okay when you're happy there's nothing else to worry about but if pile number two you resonate with this um particular message okay about being sad and stuff um then shift it into putting it into something creative okay and maybe you never know your thing might people might also resonate with you and it's gonna like become really popular who knows and people are gonna love your stuff and and maybe you'll you'll gain confidence that way right and you'll realize there's a lot of people like you and you don't feel alone so much anymore because i feel like this person look how lonely this person is it's like standing all the way up in the top like by himself or herself you want to feel like people understand you you want to feel like that it's you're being recognized you want to feel that love right so um shift it to something else and you might surprise you might be surprised so for pile number two if you don't resonate with this love the love message maybe this one is not for you you might be you might want to pick out a different pile okay but um i feel like this there's this message that i need to get through for pile number two if you are feeling very lonely and sad okay in the area of love okay let me know how this resonates with you by leaving in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to my channel and my video. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. For pile number three. What you got? All right. So you got the martyr card, but in reverse. So the shadow attribute of this is addiction to self-pity. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. The light attribute is learning to transcend nature of service to oneself or cause. I don't see the thing is about martyr to me is like victim, right? Playing not well, it's kind of brave for martyrs. Like when I read martyr, all I thought of is like these suicide bombers. <laughs> I don't, yeah. Because they're called martyrs, right? So they're like devoting, sacrificing themselves for something that they believe, okay? And having this reversed, it says um, you might be 
feeling you might be playing victim a little bit okay you maybe you don't want to sacrifice yourself for something um maybe okay for the next seven to ten days so i feel like this is a message for you if um you feel a little bit selfish you feel uh you know right now not that i'm saying you are selfish but if you feel like you've been putting a lot of focus on yourself maybe for the next seven to ten days it's time to shift the focus outside of yourself okay um maybe you you and i feel like this doesn't necessarily mean that you're selfish but it could mean also that you've been receiving a lot of things from people okay you've been receiving a lot of things from people and maybe now in the next seven to ten days now you really should think about giving back okay all the love all the support all the things that people have been giving to you okay so let's take a look at what you got for the tarot cards we got the two of cups in reverse spiritual union in reverse okay so for power number three um you got the spiritual union in reverse i what did i say this is i'm saying like this is i feel like things are a little bit out of balance okay this is having this in reverse means like in the next seven to ten days maybe i feel like maybe even now you're experiencing a little bit this right now so this is more serving like a message or maybe a warning or like an advice for you how to reverse this energy or flip this energy around okay so I feel like for pile number three, you might be feeling a little bit out of balance right now. You might be not feeling um, reciprocated. It could be you feeling not reciprocated, but it could also mean that you're not reciprocating other people too, right? You want to find, you want to feel like the other person is an equal to you. You want to be an equal to the other person as well. This is about two of cups. Is about partnership. I know it's also about love. You know equal love you know finding that true partner um but it could be um any type of any area it could be you know work finding a, a partner or at home friends finding that equal partnership okay equal the key point is over here is the equalness okay so you don't want to feel like one person is owing more to the other person or you feel like you're owing whatever to the other person you guys should be complimenting each other also okay complimenting each other um giving back this gives this together gives me a little bit of that um six of pentacles energy okay so if you've been receiving a lot now it's time to give back if you've been giving a lot then now maybe you want to start receiving okay um I also feel like watch out for because this is the two of cups in reverse maybe you want to watch out for betrayal as well in the next seven to ten days people might be kind of maybe sneaky behind your back um or not giving you enough information or enough things enough emotional satisfaction okay um so might be maybe there's you know i just feel like there's some sort of a hidden something from other people to you okay just watch out for that okay if you're um if you're a very giving person okay you might be maybe too engrossed in yourself that you didn't realize that other people have changed too it could be that okay maybe you're so focused on yourself you didn't realize the you're outside um yourself what's going on and so now you want to shift it a little bit to realize like what is this person doing okay they might be kind of sneaky too okay let's take a look at what's going to happen in the next uh, seven to ten days in regards to your finance situation what's going to happen in the next seven to ten days for palm number three in finance all right so we got main person this this just indicates that's you okay so it doesn't have any meaning in particular let's take a look okay oh my goodness prison 
All right, so what's gonna happen in the next seven to 10 days um, in regards to finance? Actually, you know, I feel like getting this card for um, finance, it doesn't mean necessarily mean bad. Prison means like it's a cage, means you're putting everything in and it's nothing's come, getting out, right? So I think for finance, this might be a good I this might be a good card, okay? It means like your money is not going out. You're not gonna be spending a lot of money. Everything is locked up okay your money is locked up but um so your money is safe i i meant like the liquid the the liquid cash kind of money okay but if, it, if you're investing on something this might not be as a good of a card because it means everything you're locked up okay you can't really do a lot of things right now your money is um is now it's like locked up in the investments you can't take it out okay if you want to take it out it's going to take time so it's uh thinking of like maybe like um the um like cd or something okay for example you put your cash in um save uh, in like a cd account meaning if you're going to take it out you're going to have to pay some kind of a penalty um so it has that kind of energy so if you you put it in your money in an investment if you're going to take it out you might lose money too so now everything is locked up everything is is not so liquid okay can't really take it out right away you won't be able to use the money right away but if you have liquid cash i think every it's now it's kind of safe and locked up in the prison okay in this in this um this almost feel feel like i feel like it's like um those um safe in like the bank because they almost feel like prison like doesn't it look it's like isolated too so if you have liquid cash i think it's it's pretty safe you're not going to probably not going to be spending a lot of money in the next seven to ten days it's locked up but if you wish to be if you wish to um cash out on your investment i think it's going to be a little bit hard okay in the next seven to ten days all right so let's take a look at your um work life in the next seven to ten days work life in the next seven to ten days okay work life oh my gosh we got short illness again um pile number two got this too so i feel like for pile number two uh i mean three that you do have this partnership in reverse okay so in your work life just really watch out for like people trying to um not giving you a lot okay so you might be overworking a lot work overworking yourself okay um because it says it's a short illness okay so maybe because we got this um i feel like the message is slightly different with pile number two even though you got the same card but the general energy is different so for pile number three you got this short illness card with this two of um cups in reverse and then this martyr card i feel like somebody is kind of trying to get away with something someone there's an imbalance of things okay going on at work um maybe you're you're putting in more work or somebody is not leveling up okay or you're not leveling up okay to the other person too so i feel like there you might need to communicate there's maybe a miscommunication as well um like short illness could be like so something is wrong okay in the at, at work so you got to figure out what is plaguing the relationship at work or the project okay um i think there's something that you overlooked okay so now now it's time that you have to it needs to heal so this thing needs to um you need to work out this problem there's obstacles at work that you need to overcome it could be i think it's mainly relationship wise like interpersonal relationship at work okay that you need to figure out how to make it right or make it good um but it could also just be um you know miscommunication or sneaky or you're not paying attention to 
other things. You're too focused on one thing and not the other stuff. Okay. So just watch out at work. There's, there is this energy of that. Okay. It's obstacle or some kind of, um, something not right. Okay. At work with the project or with the person. Okay. So it needs a lot of like attention. You'll need, you'll need to figure it out in the next seven to 10 days. You need to give it a lot of attention because you need to heal the wound or this illness that's um, happening with the project or with the, with the, with the interpersonal relationship with their coworkers or colleagues. Okay. So something is going on. Maybe people aren't getting along and it's been like that, but now it's finally surfacing. Okay. But it's a short illness. So I think you'll be able to overcome it. It's not like a long illness that like cancer or something like, right. This is more like a flu, okay? Like a cold that you need to attend to, okay? That's happening. All right, so let's take a look at your love life in the next seven to 10 days for pile number three. What's gonna happen in the love life in the next seven to 10 days? Okay. Ooh, we got gaining a lot of money. What did I just say? I did say you're like, if, you're, if you have cash right now, it's safe. It's it's safe it's locked up so um <laughs> i know this is in the area of love you're gonna gain a lot of money um but maybe your 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 loved ones will be um bringing you a lot of money okay um i think maybe you'll lock out in luck out in particular in I know this is love, but it could be love of money too, right? In the area of love. Okay, so um, for people who are single, I have this this message is like maybe, I don't, if you're watching this during COVID, then this is probably not the best idea to go to a casino, okay? Um, but if you're watching this video way after all these, because as my video is timeless, um, maybe casino might be um, somewhere that you can go and you might be able to meet someone, okay? So you're gonna be able to get money and find somebody with money. So maybe this is about like, um, so if you watch this right now, when I upload this during this whole pandemic thing, then um, you might be meeting somebody with a lot of money, okay? But now we, you just want to want to be careful where you go <laughs> right now um because most likely it's in a casino okay or somewhere that you could gamble okay maybe maybe even like a lottery so like a convenience store where you can buy like lottos and stuff like that okay um money i think for pile number three in the next seven to ten days your relationship is has a lot of um it's going to be based off of um, money as well. So if you guys are having um, issues in regards finance or something like that, um, I think it'll be resolved if money is coming in. Okay. Um, or like maybe you're having arguments. It's because of like money. Okay. And um, as I was saying, single people, you might be meeting somebody with a lot of money <laughs> that's awesome and um people who are in like no communication with a particular person in mind that they wish to uh, communicate with i feel like with this particular card um and then combined with this n reverse two of cups is very less it's very unlikely that you'll be able to talk to somebody who you haven't been talking to for a while okay haven't been in a communication for a while, um, at least not in the next seven to 10 days. It's just this little short while. Uh, I think you should maybe go out, okay, to social a little bit more, try to meet people, okay, because this is a casino where this is a lot of people. So like a, people with a common 
interest. Okay, maybe ha go find um, a group or something that has a common interest, and you'll be able to maybe. I don't. I don't. Not necessarily get out of singleness, but at least you'll get your mind off of the person that you've been thinking about. Okay. So for people who are looking for love, um, again, as I was saying, go somewhere there is people with a similar interest. Okay. That will be also a, a message here, and um, and you might be meeting somebody with a lot of money. You might not. You, I don't think you will be able to tell at first. I don't think you can be, you can tell at first because this is the spiritual, the two of cups in reverse. I don't think you can tell at first, okay? And then once you get to know this person, so don't judge the book by its cover, okay? Don't judge the book by its cover. You never know, this person might be filthy rich, okay? So that's what I see for pile number three. Let me know how this re resonate with you by leaving in the comment section below. Or if you have anything that you want to share with me, that that's great. You know, leave in the comment section below. I love reading your messages. And don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to my channel and my video. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Okay, so for pile number four. The first card you got is servant. It says delight in serving others with a free and loving heart. Okay, so for pile number four, in the next seven to ten days, your general energy is that you're gonna want to be service, be in, a, be of service to others. Okay, and you like servicing other. You're gonna give this unconditional love to people, but just watch out that you know people that you're giving your unconditional love to, they deserve your love. Okay, just don't overextending yourself and they become unappreciative just protect yourself a little bit okay but i think for pile number four you're probably the type of person that you love giving you love to give to others you like to service other you make other people's happiness a priority over yours but them being happy you feel happy as well okay so in the next seven to ten days um if you're you're not this kind of, kind of person, then maybe this is the kind of person you should be for the next seven to ten days. Because um, when you do that, you never know what's what's gonna come back um, to you. You know, good things are gonna come back to you when you uh, service other and service others other people and um, and don't expect something in return. And when that happens, sometimes you get a crazy stuff in return that you never imagined okay all right so for and then the tarot cards that's we got patience and planning this is the seven of wands card seven of pentacle I think this is the seven of pentacle card okay so um this card is i mean it's about patience and planning so uh planting the seed and waiting for things to come back so i feel like this kind of this kind of you know they kind of resonate with each other the servicing of something so like when you service other people unconditionally you don't expect something for return like uh, what i was just saying and but you're helping other people it's almost like planting a seed and then now and you don't expect anything but one day it's gonna grow into this amazing thing that you didn't expect and um and i feel like that's what we, you know what i was just saying that you never know what people are gonna give back to you when you plant this little seed of generosity in them or to for them to them and they might give back when you are in need okay so if you're not that kind of person then maybe you want to start doing that not that you're expecting something great to happen or return back to you that's why you do it you really should have this unconditional not asking for anything but because of this great um energy you know this like attract like this law of attraction it's like when you are unconditional to other people you should be attracting similar people to you as well and you will attract these people that are willing to give to you and not expecting anything back in return right so that's the energy for the next seven to ten days um 
or things that maybe you should think about doing. Okay, so let's take a look at um, your money situation in the next seven to 10 days for pile number four. Uh, what's gonna happen in your money or finance situation in the next seven to 10 days? Okay, we've got high honors again. All right, but in the finance, oh, because I, I said it again because the other piles got this card. <laughs> okay, so, we, but in a different position. So for pile number four, you got this high honors card in regards to your finance, okay? So um, I think uh, this is kind of interesting because we got the patience and planning, right? And so things are gonna, um, you're gonna be recognized for, the things that you've done so i feel like you are going your investment is going to have a return this is you know you have been patient okay you have been patiently waiting for things and now you're finally getting something in return you're finally getting something in return in regards to your finance okay um, I don't feel like you're, there's going to be a major expense happening for pile number four in the next seven to 10 days, but you're definitely getting something in return um, for your money or maybe um, for your investment, okay? So, or maybe if you're really good at investing or you're really good at dealing with money, people might be recognizing your talent for, you know, um, you know, doing, dealing with money and they might ask you for your opinion, okay, for your ideas of what to do. So that could be also another, you know, recognition that's going to happen in the next seven to 10 days in regards to money. So now to, let's take a look at your work situation in the next seven to 10 days. What's going to happen in your work situation in the next seven to 10 days? What's going to happen for number four in the next seven to ten days in regards to work oh, okay oh my goodness we got the military person okay so for pile number four um you got military person in regards to your work situation in the next seven to ten days i think um military person to me feels like Okay, so for some of you, you might be a police officer or you're in the army or you're in the military, okay? You might be this person, so um, you might be working in this field and it totally, you're like the people's servant, right? You're serving others, you're putting yourself out there, um, putting yourself out in danger, killing bad guys, you know, for our sake, okay? So that's like, you're not really getting anything. It's kind of like so this unconditional love thing, right? Um, but it could also be that, um, so for pile number four, if you are trying to switch jobs, maybe you can consider some kind of a military or be a veteran or sign up for um, like work within the government, okay? This could be also the government, I feel like, okay? You know, this is funny because if you watch the video during um, this whole COVID thing, I think government uh, is one of the main jobs that we can't not do without. It's like restaurants, you know, they, they need to remain open. But like all the government, um, like city halls or whatever, like government officials, they are still working, right? So if you're looking for jobs, you might consider looking into a, a government job, okay? Um, if you are, you know, just working, okay, regular jobs, in the next seven to 10 days, what do you need to um, watch out for or something like that? I, I don't feel anything you need to watch out for because this is the, the military person. I think you're the kind of person that would abide by rules. If you're not, then 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 this will more like serving as a as a as a as a message. OK, that um, if you tend to uh, detour from 
SOPs or guidance and guides and stuff like that. Maybe for the next seven to 10 days, try to keep your creativity or your, um, this urge to deter from like particular, um, instructions or, you know, that kind of things. You want to abide by rules a little bit more, okay? Instead of coming up with crazy ideas, maybe in the next seven to 10 days, just keep it, keep doing things more like rigidly following the rules, okay? Don't try to go off tangent, okay? And, um, and then, and then keep this is a military person is like a, a servant of some sort too, right? So, um, just keep in mind that you're just doing a job, you're just servicing other people. If you are um, doing some kind of a, your, your work or position is dealing with like a customer service or something like that or servicing other people, um, just go by the, go more go by the book, okay? Be a little bit more rigid, follow the rules, be a good a law abiding citizen, okay? That's what it is. And, and we do have the patience and planning card. So like, I don't think there's much gonna happen and at work okay in the next seven to ten days things are more like you know in the planning stage or just continuing doing what you've been doing okay so um nothing huge that you need to watch out for except um just do what you're told okay and and and, and nothing more and nothing less okay so Let's take a look at what's gonna happen in the next seven to 10 days in regards to your love life. What's gonna happen to call number four's love life in the next seven to 10 days. Ooh, look at this. We have rich, good gentlemen. You're gonna meet somebody. For people who are single, I think this is great news. You're gonna meet somebody who's rich rich good okay this is um general reading so um sex doesn't meaning like female or male okay it doesn't really matter so rich good gentleman could be rich good um lady too okay so for single people i think you're gonna have a great chance of meeting somebody who's rich and good and awesome okay if not then i think you might want to ask people who are slightly better off or like you're uh, than you or maybe equal, okay, um, to help, to ask for help from these people to, you know, maybe introduce you to their friends and people who they know as single. I think um, either you're going to meet somebody who is rich, good, and it's, who is rich and good, or somebody is going to come and help you um, or set you up to meet somebody that's rich and good, or they these the, there is a rich, good gentleman or lady that's gonna set you up to meet your future boyfriend or girlfriend, okay? So there's the two different types of um, energy. One is like, you might be meeting somebody who is good and rich, Okay, um, or you're gonna be, uh, you're if you have friends, or you know, you might be meeting somebody, maybe you meet a new friend who is good and rich, um, and they're gonna introduce you to their good and rich friends. Okay, so, um, there is that again, this is plant planting the seeds, okay, waiting for it to 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 bloom, okay and um if you are in a stable relationship i think uh if you're having problems or trouble then uh somebody who who is like this rich good person okay you're gonna have somebody that's gonna help you with getting over this like obstacle or problem okay we're just gonna help you with that um, but if not, if not, I think also, cause this is a rich, good gentleman. So like, if you're in a stable, um, relationship, there's nothing really going on right now. Um, you're just, everything is like stable, you know, then I think it's going to stay the same. It's going to be just stable and loving and 
nothing you know crazy gonna happen in the next seven to ten days the only thing is maybe the this message about serving them okay so just want to love them unconditionally and no matter what okay just having this loving energy with your partner um, people who are in no communication, you have a particular person in mind that you want to get back with. Um, I think for this next seven to 10 days, we do have the patience card. Um, it's telling you to be a little bit more. Ooh, it's telling you to be a little bit more patient with um, everything. I don't think every anything particular is going to happen. Um, perhaps if there is somebody, you know, common friends between the person that you're thinking about and you who are maybe con can be considered as rich and good maybe they can hook you hook the two of you up, up okay maybe you can relay messages for you guys and um try to help you guys out with something okay so um but it, i don't think your person is going to reach out like first nor are you going to do that i feel like you need someone's help if um you want to talk to them again okay so that's what i see for pawn number four let me know how this resonates with you by leaving in the comment section below and don't forget to like share or subscribe to my channel and my video i will see you in the next video Bye bye